Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. I'm going to be offering my brief commentary right after this. I'm not stepping out of the car. I, 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 no, no, no. You cannot. You cannot pull me out of the car. Yo, 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 why are you pulling a gun on me? Why are you pulling a gun on me? Why are you pulling a gun on me? Why are you pulling a gun? Why are you? Why are you pulling a gun on me? Why are you? Stop reaching for shit. Why are you? Hey, 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 why are you pulling a gun on me? Why are you pulling a gun on me? Why are you? Peace, this your brother Monroe Jr. So we just saw the video of our brother in Delaware who was wondering why did the cop pull a gun out on him. Now a lot of people will look at this video, a lot of Caucasians will look at this video and deflect, right? We're dealing with the treatment of our people as I'm going to show two videos of Police and how they civilly, patiently handle white men. Right? Here's a white man in one of the videos who gun was drawn. Okay. Any flesh pop was right in front of the dairy queen? Uh, yes, I'm watching right now. She's down the street directly to the dairy queen. Right? The police were patient with him. In the second video, the man is popping off at the mouth. Working with the rifle point over their, their back. Uh, that would be my assumption. Right. So, I mean, in a in legal sense, it's, it's just as legal as me walking down the street with my dog. You don't need to have your hand on your gun back. Oh, you do? To the po to three policemen, right? And he's talking about his constitutional rights. But I just want to show the double standard of how black men are treated uh, versus white men in this country. So we saw the clips. And we can clearly see. 
you know, even though this brother was pulled over for traffic citations, there is no reason to have your gun drawn. And then he threatened him not to move, not to reach for SHIT. I'm glad this brother made it out of this situation because these cops are scared of us. They literally almost pissing their pants when they have to encounter the lion, right? That's how they see us. You know, brothers and sisters, we uh, not only need civilian review boards of these uh, different cases with these officers because they always lie on their police reports. I'm glad that the body cameras were uh, implemented, but we also, as I just stated, need these boards to independently review these cases because cops will continue as long as they get off by a jury of their peers for killing us. Oftentimes a lot of these juries are 90 something percent white and these cops get off and we see it was clear evidence of murder and that's just a temporal solution. The grand solution is for us to have our own land and territory. And the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has put the economic blueprint before black America. We're asking for 35 cents a week, five cents a day. We already have over a million dollars. We're trying to make our exodus by a large plot of land for our people so that we can become independent. We number 30 to 40 million people in this country. That's enough, that's more than some small nations. We are a nation within a nation and now we need our own sovereign land and territory. I mean, these people haven't had our best interest ever since we arrived on the shores. Even when they came to um, uh, Africa, they promised us uh, gold and riches, right? They promised us, uh, they used the good name of Jesus. In fact, the first slave ship captained by Sir John Hawkins, they told us we came over here in 1619. No, the first slaves arrived around 1555, and that's the 64 years it took to break uh, our culture. Uh, from, fi from 1555 to 1614, they robbed of, of, our, of our language, of our culture, our God religion. And that's the 64 years of hidden history that they kept away from us. Mm. But brothers and sisters, it's time for us to unite like never before, or we will continue to see these occurrences of our people being unjustly treated in this country. This your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.